Surprise, motherfucker! What's going on, my friends? Hello and welcome. Hello, hello. Uh, apologies, I, uh, <clears throat> we're missing a few messages just because, uh, there was an update for OBS, I think, and I think that threw it off. I don't know what the heck's going on, if I'm being totally honest. Also, I feel like I'm very dark right now, so maybe that'll help. All right. <clears throat> uh, congrats once again to Lady Iron for being first. In fact, uh, she is not dead. She is alive. Uh, brains. <laughs> I like that, though. Curry, hello, hello. Another day of Dad of War, indeed. Indeed. <clears throat> hello there, loots in the guild. I love that. I actually really like that, uh, the caps there. If I'm being honest, True Kelt. And Coleman, good morning to you as well. How was everybody's Monday? Everybody had an okay Monday. Uh, mine was pretty good. It was, uh, pretty busy once again. Uh, it seems like every day lately. Um, but, uh, that's kind of life at the beginning of the track season. The first couple weeks are, uh, pretty hectic. So, uh, but we did have a pretty cool event yesterday. Um, first time I've ever done this before. We did a, uh, team pentathlon. Uh, the first day of it. We're having a second day of it today. Uh, just don't have enough time to do it all in one day. So I got to split it up. Um, but it seems to be well received, um, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how the second day goes. Uh, but trying to get all the results and stuff put on for you know put up for that uh, ended up taking me pretty much all night after I got home from practice, which was a later practice. So yeah, it's just been busy is all. But uh, but yeah, I think it'll I think it'll be good. it'll be good. It'll be worth it. So uh, so today I've got the second day of that, which will be fun. Uh, running my own workout afterwards. Hopefully I'll get them out of there a little earlier than I did um and uh yeah I <laughs> it's gonna be a interesting week I I remembered I told my dad I could go to a basketball game with him um and I just looked at the schedule and I'm gonna have to leave like pretty dang soon after practice on Thursday so we'll see if I, hopefully I can make that but uh I need to kind of double check on some things so but anyway my friends hope you're all having a great day thus far happy Tuesday um, today, we're getting back into some more God of War, uh, as we will on Thursday, uh, in addition to today. But, uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been really good I'm trying to see exactly where we, uh, where we left off. I know I was around some of those, uh, poisony sticks. I don't, for lack of, I forget what they're called. Uh, I know we left off around some of those, and I was just kind of exploring around. So, we're gonna find out. Uh, how about I bring you into the game? We'll get started. Every time. All right. Every time I hear the music in this, I, I always, for some reason, think it's going to be... It sounds like it's going to be the Star Wars music. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Very strange of me to think that, but that's where my brain goes. It's just the horn sound. I don't know. All right. So this... Ah, uh, I didn't think I came... I wonder if I lost any progress. Let's go find out. Might have lost some progress. I fought a bunch of bad guys over here. Let's see. There was a chest like over... There was a chest over here. Uh, Forgot a War or the PlayStation Startup? Wait, which... What was the question to, True Kelt? Apologies, my friend. Doesn't look like I lost any progress. That's good. But I did definitely... I don't feel like I stopped right here when I exited the game, so that's kind of interesting. It made me feel like I went backwards. I felt like I was more up the trail over here. Um, and we're currently going to... The Journey... Continuing towards the mountain. That's all I know. Continuing towards the mountain. Oh, the, the music for God of War. Yeah, right at the very beginning. Uh, you load up the menu. And it's like... Burr, burr, and I feel like it's going to go... Burr, burr, burr. You know, but it doesn't. It's... Just my silly brain. Uh, oh, do these all respawn? Do I get a couple more? I do get a couple more pieces of hack silver. Okay. 
Interesting, interesting. And I can't, I can't, uh, I can't open that one yet. I feel like there's still a lot of powers I need to uncover. A lot more powers. Which does not bode well for my uh, completionist self, you know? Like, I'm trying to do all this stuff, and uh, it's like, no, 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 come, come back later. Come back later when you're not such a noob, you know? But for me, I'm sort of like, but I want to do it, I want to do it now, because I'm, I'm here. Ooh, hmm. That one got through. Okay, looks like I need a new uh, a new word on the filter. Pullman, I don't know if you're around, but uh, we got a or Curry. We got a bannable uh, bannable offense for you if you'd like. Let me make a note of that. Um, let's see, that was your follows with a Z. That's a new one. That's a new one. Make a note of that real fast. Hey, what's going on, Moe? All right. Made a note of that. Appreciate that, Coleman. I uh, was definitely surprised to see that. Moe, how's your day? There we go. Yeah, I feel like this is kind of where I left off. Which way is... Wait, I feel like I explored this a little bit. Yeah, that's an empty, that's an empty, uh, coffin right there. Okay, go this way. I wonder when I'm going to start getting attacked in between these. Nothing much, can't sleep, it's like midnight for me. Oh, I actually, I, I feel like I didn't sleep very well last night. I, I, uh... I'll be honest, it was like... Oh, okay, here we go. Right? It's actually there, right? Or is that a... figment of my imagination? Hmm? No, nope. mm, it's actually there. How much room do I have over here? Okay, a decent amount. I guess I can bare knuckle. Um, all in all, though, Moe, I'm doing pretty well. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave that thought hanging there. Uh, yeah, I think I think a lot of it, my mind was just kind of uh, wandering last night. I was um, was thinking about the practice and everything that we had had. If I can, uh, can I stun her? But couldn't fall asleep very well, and then uh, I did. I just felt like I didn't sleep very like I didn't sleep very soundly. All right, come up here, you turd. Also, where is boy? I don't even know where these arrows are getting launched from. Oh, he's all the way back there. <laughs> he's actually in the middle of the poison, isn't he? Hang on a second. Oh, no, he's not. He's kind of on the edge of it. Oh, of course she's stunned now. Really? Seriously? Gosh, that's frustrating. I'm just going to let boy kill her. That was a that was obnoxious. I finally stun her, and she's she's on like on the other side of the poison. What are these called? Scorn sticks, scorn poles, scorn poles. That was stupid. Oh well, it happens. It happens. What's over here? I just don't know what to do with those things yet. I think in time. 
Take the health. Okay. Hmm. A couple different ways to go. That one looks like the scorn is being what? Oh, huh, okay. This looks cool. Oh, another thing that I can't break. We'll need something to get through this one. Hey, NCV. Cheers to you, my friend. Oh, one second. Gotta actually have something to cheers with. Cheers. Welcome in. How you doing today? Hello, hello. Okay, so I found another secret chamber. The chamber of secrets, if you will. But uh, I <laughs> no idea what's going to get me in there. We'll go this way. I guess I got to let Boy through, don't I? Yeah, he just kind of stops. Oh, he did run through. Doing good, just about to go shopping in a bit. This is the, the shopping with your grandma, right? That's what you're talking about? There we go. What kind of shopping do you have in mind? Am I health full? I think it is. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that just in case. Do you think gotcha, gotcha. Well, I hope it's a great time. Hope, hope you get some quality time with your grandma. I told you no. Don't know yet. Fair enough. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting a lot. Ooh. It will serve you to stop talking. Man, boy is trying to get on Kratos' poop list this morning. Woo. This is some fighting words. Uh, I don't think that's going to be... I'm going to try it. Who freaking cares? They didn't even care about it. Love it. Oh, come on. That's going through the firebomb. Oh, come on. Forgot those guys blow up. Whew. I went to go scratch my nose. <laughs> that would have been bad. That would have been... Not good at all. All right. What do we got here? Axe silver, a couple bombs. Could have definitely been able to hit that bomb. I feel like it did. I feel like it went through the top of it. Maybe it was just a little too finicky. All right. What's down here? Nothing? Got a couple scorn poles. Can they, can they be destroyed? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Well, oh, the, oh, wait a minute. There's another firebomb back there. Maybe I'll try it. You know this part of the game? Yeah, this is, uh, let's see. Maybe I can destroy one. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Destroy one pole, open, or uh, disable the other. Love it. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually kind of trying to progress on the main story today, NCV. Charge of the White Bear. A quick propulsive dash attack with a follow-up strike. Kratos is protected during the dash. Ooh, I like that. Oh, okay, okay. That's a decent one for clearing up some space. Uh, let's see. And I'm currently using the Fury of the Ice Troll. That's also a pretty good ice, uh, pretty good ice, pretty good clearing one. And this one has a 57 second cooldown. I think I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to keep the one that I've got for now. I like, though, that you can change them out whenever, you know? Kind of good. I might find that uh, some of them are better in some situations than others. We got here. Arcane shoulder wraps? Ooh. But they're not very, uh, they're not very rare. Let's see. Six defense, eight cooldown. They look pretty dang cool, though. I'll say that. Uh, let's see. Do we like this better? Those have been, have those been upgraded? Level one plus. Must have. 
eight cooldown. So yeah, we get a little more cooldown, but the strength drops kind of a lot. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll hang on to him, but probably not going to equip him just yet. Is there something else in here too? Arcane bracers. I got those pretty recently. And arcane waist guard. Now that is also not that good. Okay. Did I get all of them together? Huh. I got a full armor set. I didn't even notice. You might as well blow all those up. Then again, I wonder if there was supposed to be a fight here. Yeah, probably is, isn't there? As soon as I get this thing out of the way. Yeah, I can see it. I feel like I can see it coming down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Man, there are a lot of fire bombs for just random pieces of stone. Anybody catch what he said? Oh. Careful, boy. Oh. Oh my gosh, I thought we were going to turn into it was going to turn into a Resident Evil game for a second there. Father? Two trolls? No, okay. I bet that troll's not down yet, is he? Mother Freaker. Ready yourself. Wait, we're going to start this fight. <laughs> oh, boy got wrecked. Absolutely wrecked. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's try this runic attack. Do I have to hold? I sure don't. Oh my gosh! He just yeeted a soldier at me. So I'm not doing particularly well. All right, so we'll do this. Here we go. The dodges are just not doing anything right now. I don't know what the heck that's all about. Runic attacks, though, are solid. I feel like they're decent. Might try to go rage mode here. Okay, except... I guess maybe, maybe I can't hold shift. I have to push them at the same time. This is the first time... This is the first time uh, I actually have used rage since I got an increased uh, health bar. Or uh, rage meter, I should say. It's pretty cool. Okay, this is awesome. Here we go. Booger's undoing. It's gonna home in on me, like while I'm. All right. Well, that was kind of a cool fight, all in all. A little silly. A little frustrating. The fact that the uh, troll just, I don't know. Crystal Dragon, hello, hello, welcome in. How you doing today? What do we get here? Bluetooth? Symbol of truth. Uh, enchantment that increases strength and runic by three. Okay, okay. We like that. What about that? Frozen flame, no way. Okay. 
Yeah, that's what I was needing to upgrade the Leviathan Axe. Perfect. Uh, I didn't realize that the troll would kind of give it to me like that. Five soft steels. Perfect. Crystal Dragon, hope you're having a great day thus far. I guess I continue on. I could go back to Brock. He's not very far away. Nah, I'll keep going. Keep going. Mountain space. Whoa. We discovered the mountain's base. I can see why mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Just finished the story earlier this morning. I love literally every second of this one. Oh, goodness. It's been really, really good. Really, really good thus far. Uh, and everybody that's come in saying that they finished it recently was like, oh, so much fun. I doubt it. And that's the thing, too. A lot of people have told me that I haven't really even uh, experienced the story yet. If that's the case, I'm excited because it's been good even without really any story so far. My goodness, that is a rather impressive mountain. I could, uh, if I find a portal, I could use that. Need that. I kind of want to upgrade the axe, though. It's, it's a pretty big upgrade, I believe. Maybe I should do it. Is there not a portal over here? Kind of surprising. Well, I found a frozen flame, which I believe is what I need. Uh, I think that's the only thing I'm missing to upgrade this axe. Hopefully that's the case. I'm about to make the trip all the way back to Brock. Did not see any teleporters. Otherwise, I would have used those instead. Can I ask you, Crystal, what difficulty you played on? I've been talking with somebody else who's been playing it on the toughest difficulty. I am not, by the way. I'm playing it on normal. <laughs> but uh, I just wonder how many people out there uh, are truly um, uh, masochists, you know? This game's already been has been tricky enough as uh, as is on normal. I feel. Oh, this isn't. I keep calling him Brock. This isn't Brock though, right? This is his brother. I think he'll still upgrade it though. Let's get to it. What's up, K? Playing the hardest difficulty and then turn on turn all the cheats on. I can find. Do you actually? <laughs> if so, that's pretty awesome. All right. Oh, it's only, yeah, it's only a frozen flame. That's all I need. And that's a big strength increase. So I'm going to go for it. Probably shouldn't let my brother lay hands on it again. But if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Is that Haldor? <laughs> this is Sindri here. Brother of Brock. But uh, I got to find another frozen flame. Okay, for the next one, another 15. Wait, am I level two now? I feel like it's the first time I've uh, I've seen a two over there. And I can't upgrade the the talon bow. Um, I could upgrade these these other ones here. Again, it's it's gonna not increase my strength though. Hmm. Increase that. Sixteen strength and thirteen. That's a big defense upgrade. <clears throat> This is brother Lesnar. Brock and Lesnar. <laughs> I have not heard about that. I haven't heard that name in forever, Kay. I had to jack down for the sake of seeing the story. I will likely bump it up a level now that I am through the story and train. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I was just curious. I uh, Normal has been a really good balance for me in terms of a challenge in combat, but also still uh, able to progress, which has been cool. Uh, let's see. Do I want to... I can't increase... The level of my unity gauntlets. My waist guard? Wait, what am I wearing? Oh, I can't upgrade Death's Vow, can I? Okay. Grip of Tangyast? Tangyast? No way, uh, I don't feel like that's how it's said. That's a big upgrade right there. Oh, because that takes it from level 2 to level 5? Is that what it's saying? Grip of Volander? That's pretty cheap. Strength and defense. Uh, let's see. Grants a protective barrier. I don't know that I'll ever use it, though. That's the thing. I don't want to waste 
resources on something I might never use. Uh, right, I forgot about resurrection stones. Uh, I have a simple resurrection stone. I have a few other enchantments, other stuff I could sell, but I I don't know. The reaver tunic is pretty pretty worthless. It looks like. Yes, my young man. Oh, uh, let's see. Sometimes fans find health stones. Wait, what does he have on right now? Because that sounds pretty good. Sometimes find health stones when Kratos ah, is injured. I. I like that. I'm not going to use another axe, pommel, talisman. Probably not. Uh, Grant's invis invincible barrier for several seconds when Kratos' health drops to a critical level. That actually might be pretty good. Now, what is my talisman is right now? Else. These are the types of games I am normally... Normally, I'm pretty serious about playing through and training at the different levels until I'm to the point where I can get through without any trouble. I like it. I like that. Uh, where... Let's see... My talisman is where now? It's an armor, right? Yes. Gold talisman of protection. So I have to press Q to activate. Activate immediately after being hit to recover faster. Also has a passive effect that increases the timing window on parries and greatly increases defense when blocking. Yeah, so I think I'll keep that. I have noticed that the timing window um, on parries being much better. Uh, this one specifically, I have extra time to do that with because I just love playing it and love the combat that much. Hell yeah. I don't blame you one bit. Not a bit. Uh, the combat has actually been... I I don't know. For me, combat gets a lot of... It, it can get really repetitive. But in this game, I've not, I'm not tired of it at all yet. And granted, I'm not through the game. Still have plenty of time left, but, uh, but it doesn't feel repetitive. Kind of like... Um, Kind of like uh, the Arkham games, the Batman Arkham games. Similar system where, you know, uh, you've got to do a lot of fighting. There's a lot of combat in that game, but it doesn't feel like a chore every time you have to fight somebody, which, which is good. Uh, and I feel like that's a good balancing act for a game. Atreus, here. But I am hoping to uncover more of the story. The story elements that I have actually uh, interacted with have been pretty exciting. Like uh, the world serpent. That was pretty dang cool. Uh, so I'm just excited to figure out more about the story because I really don't feel like I've done all that much yet. So McDucky, hello. Have you played the PS4 Spider-Man? It feels much the same. I never got tired of the combat in the one. I have, yeah. So the, the first Spider-Man game, McDucky, um, I got platinumed. I platinumed. Uh, at least the base game. I didn't, uh, I think there was a platinum, another platinum or another like real gold or whatever trophy that I didn't get in the uh, DLC. But maybe I should try to do that. I think it was because it was New Game Plus and I just didn't ever do a New Game Plus. Something like that. But yeah, uh, I love that game. That's actually the reason I bought a PS4 was to play the, the first Spider-Man game on it. So uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of a tough pill to swallow buying a console for one game, but uh, I found a great deal on it. I ended up playing some others. I played Last of Us, played Uncharted, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. So I played some really good games on it. But uh, I actually only played the first Uncharted. I have the Nathan Drake collection. I've only played the first one so far. So what the heck is this? Some sort of darkness. Stay back, boy. Ugh, what is that? Stay back, wanders right into it. We must find another way up. The witch. Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic oh, I wish she was here too, boy. Black breath, and there's no way around it. Oh. Odin saw to that long ago. <laughs> what are you How doing? are you doing? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. Oh, the hey, my soul's in this game. <laughs> is a corruption of magic. Even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. There's a joke Maybe I could say about seeing myself in you, but that's... I'm not going to say that. That's inappropriate. 
Or maybe <laughs> I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Yeah, uh, I mean... Even though you shot my friend. Even though yes. Kratos is a huge jerk. Where must we go? To a realm. Beyond your own. Thanks for not saying, I know, I know. <laughs> wow, just wow. <laughs> How are you doing today? Uh, see, that's part of the reason I like slow, slowing, slow going through the difficulties because my mind looks at everything in pieces. I get the stuff I need for the lower difficulty down. And then as I add to difficulty, I slowly train myself in the new moves and techniques I need to add and master to make that difficulty easy for me. Yeah, a little progression that way. Self-taught progression. Only for I like a it. While. Is she barefoot right now? Oh my Only gosh. I mean, NCV, like... I mean, they're just walking into these jokes, you know? Actually adds moves I can use to make the combat not only more fun, but less repetitive because I have more I'm able to do. I feel we'll as if sometimes this. people mention repeating combat, but I've watched people Great that fall. say they only use three moves. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And that's the thing. I try to I try to mix it up just to get better at some things too. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating. He finished already? I just saw him. <laughs> that too. So this is an elevator? Okay. To be honest, I wouldn't have thought of that. Just give that a turn. You got it. There. Yeah, I think, Crystal, I think people end up just finding out that there are certain moves that are easier than others to do, Here's and so they just keep the doing those same moves that are easier. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. If the Why same three moves are working, feels like they should have given me a reason no to use different moves. Yeah, exactly. He just appeared one. Exactly. Soon after, Although in this game, I feel like you gotta, and their you gotta use a little more. Across all the realms. But it also Ultimately, depends on how fancy you want to be, you know? And Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. We met him. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. Although, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have ran all that way backwards to upgrade my axe, huh? Because, yeah, you know, could have just waited like five no. seconds. We actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Uh, so oh no, he's no legit gone, so it, I guess it didn't matter. Tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. What do we do now? We're going back? Hang on a second. Uh, yeah, I guess we're going back to over here. Okay. Just follow the witch. I that's what I'm doing, but she stopped. I think a person has to master everything, but something can be said for a sense taking fun out of the game on your own Watch by not step. forcing yourself to learn just how to step up here. and give yourself you more. Should? You can do. Yeah, I mean, before, just adding more skill, before. just adding more skill in general Is to the game. So, let me show you something. Like I can't imagine if you want to play on the hardest difficulty in this game. I could ask Manpex, Are you watching? Uh, but. Yes, finally. I've been trying to. It's solid. Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, huh. it won't just disappear, will it? Can uh, Atreus learn that ability? Um, yeah, I can't imagine you'd be able to beat um, like give me God of War difficulty without learning a lot more techniques. You know. From Vanaheim. I'll be honest. I probably won't find out. I don't think I'll end up playing on that difficulty. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As There's one. To Odin and Thor, Shoot those. They're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. What if we're gonna? Do you think we'll blow the horn yet? Wait a minute. We have been in here, right? The tongue of Niflheim, a foul place of ice and mists, and dwarven mischief. So, those rooms are of Muspelheim, the Fire Realm. No place for children, even brave ones. Hmm. Well, that's kind of sucks because the trace has already been in there. 
All right. Hey, NCV, enjoy your uh, enjoy your shopping trip with your grandma. Hope you have a great time. Get some good quality time in there. Watch the streamer play this on Gimme God of War for his first playthrough. Glutton for Punishment. Of course, he's a big fan of the Souls game. Gotcha. Dwarven Mischief was my nickname in college, which is weird because I'm super tall. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Built with help from the giants. Dwarven Mischief would be a good name for me. More of a high school name for me. I was more mischievous in high school than college. Look at that. The serpent's just staring at us. Oh, creepy. So why am I falling so far behind? Oh my gosh. Look at his little beard, too. Uh, so how did it go? Was the was the playthrough was Make it successful, Mc, McDucky? Stairs. Make a right at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, wait a minute. Where are you going? From what I've seen, it looks hard, but with training, I feel like I could get where I want to be with it. Tend to have a knack for games that have this fighting style, so I feel I'll pick up skill quick with hey, it. Another one of those light crystals. She's gonna shoot it wait from up there, there huh? Reawaken the light. So, I did it. What are we why doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Why didn't she just Start come down here? That axle. I don't know why she didn't just shoot it from down here. <laughs> Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. How did this get like this? Now push the bridge along the track. Uh, okay, there we go. The whole Whoa! Entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, uh, you're really strong. Kratos is quite strong, Just boy. <laughs> Even he said, "Boy." First position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. Yeah. So okay. I forgot. Atreus doesn't know that Kratos is a god. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. I forgot. Why what? Could Vanir magic raise the dead? It could. Actually, the witch was the one that said it. She's like, he doesn't no know. Spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. Okay. Is this the That's area... Perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. Oh, this is... Well, it, wait. No, it's not. Oh, no, no. Maybe it is. I don't know anymore, to be honest. I think that there was a... Uh, <clears throat> somewhere near the icy areas, there were some collectibles that I was trying to find and couldn't get to them. Maybe this is the way to do it. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. You have to tell him at some point, Kratos. He's always been really strong, except for when Mom made him watch "This Is Us." Door. Then he's a blubbering mess. Wait. So did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. I've actually never it seen that. Uh, Mrs. Magoots used to watch it, but uh, I don't know when she stopped. Are you a fan, K Dizzle? Oh, oh, oh! Dropping some frames. Should we go see? Uh, so go see Brock or? He's still in here, right? Oh, look at that. Is this the way? Oh, this is the way I was supposed to go. Okay. She's taking her time lining that up, lining that shot up, huh? Guess because I'm not close enough. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used huh. them. How do we get more? Your bow, please. Oh, there we go. Nice. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. That's some important progression there. That unlocks a lot of stuff. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? 
The gods don't care for me. Much. Brock's not here either. Okay. No, I've never seen it either. Just know it's emotional and the only, it's the only crying show I could think of off the top of my head. I got you. All good. Also, lucky though, I tend to have more time to train in games than a lot of other people. I was born with cerebral palsy and I'm on social security so a job doesn't get in the way for me like it does my friends. Gotcha, gotcha. So, um, does that... I apologize to this if this is ignorant of me. Does that make... Um, so dark. This temple has like, been asleep. Underwater for do you end up playing? Winters. What's your it preferred method of play? Do you like a controller? Do you like a uh, keyboard? What What's your What's uh What's your favorite way to play then, or your preferred method? He loved it. Uh, there's a set of optional bosses. He beat all of those at level five or six. An extremely difficult challenge, but somebody was offering to donate like five hundred dollar reduced charity if he could do it. Dang. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I, uh, I'll be honest. I don't know that I have enough uh, skill as a question. I, I mean, maybe, probably not enough skill, Those but also just the fact magic. that, like, they I don't are. think I have enough patience These to do that, you know? Great world tree and make travel between the realms possible. Ooh, this is pretty, though. Look Approach the table. King of the Coop. Hello. <clears throat> Oh, it's Nash. How you doing, Nash? I was gonna say I Over you're not here. a first time chatter, but I don't recognize your uh, your username. But welcome back in, Nash. How the heck have you been? I uh, hope you're doing good. I know I've not been in stream for a while. Uh, I've been doing some homework and a grinding on a game that I will not say because why not? <laughs> no worries, no worries. Uh, hopefully, hopefully that's all been good. Good work, you know, not not too bad. I was born with a controller in my hands. Depending on the game, things are different. I use my Elite 2 with God of War. With Star Citizen, I'm fully mouse and keyboard. Nice. Okay. I can teach you how to travel between realms, but not unless you're over here. I mean, I'm pretty Come. close. <clears throat> yeah, no worries. No worries. What's, uh... <clears throat> I like the name change, though. How long has it been since you changed the name? Work? You will need this. A Bifrost. To create travel between realms. Bifrost. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able What's to the cross doing between over there? realms. Between what realms, you huh? Before you represents oh, the right. temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. So yeah, the Lake of Nine. All the there are nine towers. The same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the nine realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. Hmm. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The tree of life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are we bound to We saw the tree it. of life in Valheim. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. It's life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So. Yeah, she has to have some super tough feet. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. <laughs> Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Okay. Years this account was hacked recently, but with a little tinkering, I got it back. Oh, huh. Most of my gaming experience is actually on Xbox these days. You must on my the destination realm, Alfheim. I will. I will. Uh. These days uh, on my Series X, but ever since I got my laptop, I'm slowly getting into modern PC gaming. Played some older PC games growing up, then loved, then moved the to console to only for the longest time teams. up until fairly recently. Yeah, that's kind of how I was too. Although 
I didn't play a ton of PC games. I had I had a, just a select few that I played. Uh, played a decent amount of The Sims, uh, Age of Empires 2. I don't know why. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Some of those games, like older style games. Uh, but then mainly console up until uh, the last couple years. So, all right. So we're turning it to Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, nice. there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Huh. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. Lock in? We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Interesting. Now the okay. realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. The realm between realms. It, what? There's so much realming in this. She just gonna up and disappear. See that giant crystal. Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost. What opening in the, the bridge world is that happening? Realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about hey, that Steph, how you doing? The, the Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went Hopefully and how they moved it remain a mystery. Hopefully, this isn't too pixely for you all. Well, we got a heck of a lot of experience for that. Woo. This was a really pretty, like, just very. We're still here. Visually satisfying uh, dark. space. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. Wait, you didn't say that. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. You didn't tell me that. Which? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. We're trapped here. I can't go back to Midgard. Steph, how the heck is you, how the heck is your day going thus far? How are you now? Good, and you? How many years or months maybe have you been playing PC and Xbox? I'm trying to think, when did I, so I started, I mainly switched over to PC gaming, when was it? 2018? 2019 I would say is probably more PC than, uh, than console at that point. So, okay, wait a minute. This is gonna look exactly the same. Well, sometime in 2018 I feel like. That's when I, uh, began using my, uh, yeah, because, well, actually, that might not be, no, that's about the same. I, I think I was probably pretty evenly split between console and PC by 2018. Manpex, yes, it's the witch. Not so bad. Welcome to Alfheim. <laughs> not so bad, and you? <laughs> think you can spot the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. Uh-oh. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught up in the what? Don't get caught up in the what? Oh! Hmm. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Not dead. Um, Just back in Midgard now. Man, okay, so... I, hey, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think we saw a, a moment of character Stay growth for me. Kratos there. He actually Touch tried nothing. to save her. Did you guys see that? He's been very cold to her, and then when she starts getting, like, sucked back up into the uh, realm between realms, or whatever, um, She's probably he actually tried to back. catch her. Is she? I don't know. Uh, I've been gaming regularly since I was 10, 34 now. I've only been on my laptop for a total of probably four months, I would say. Had some CPU trouble that needed fix that cut into my time with it, but it's back better than ever now. Outside that time with my laptop, everything else has been either on PS2 when I was younger, Xbox, I got older. Nice. That's, wow, I feel like we, uh, we, we've got some parallels there, my friend. 
I got a I had a PlayStation in the early 2000s, PlayStation 2, and then uh, I ended up trading it in for an Xbox. I've been playing Xbox ever, ever since, pretty much. Uh, I didn't actually own a PlayStation again until 2018, late 2018, uh, which I bought to play Spider-Man. <laughs> so, I've uh, been but really started a PC gaming around the same time, sometime in 2018. Okay. What is uh, that? About 50/50 between console and uh, and PC. Crystal Dragon. Appreciate that, Paulo. Cheers, my friends. It's been good getting to know you. Liberating to have a PC. It is. It is, honestly. Like, I, my, my consoles, I mean, granted, it's an Xbox One, Xbox One S, and a PS4. Uh, they're in a drawer now, like, right beside me. So, like, I can always pull, pull them out if I ever need them, but I haven't needed to. So. CPU crisis. Hello, hello. To you, CPU. Appreciate that, Paulo. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna yeet my axe at it, or... Okay, sure enough. Oh, I'm killing it, son. I'm killing it. Uh, like in a good way, you know, not a not a murderous way. I know no one asked, but I have pretty long hair. Restaurant mis mistaken me for a woman, but I'm not wasting three years of me growing my hair, so yeah. Oh, heck, yeah, screw that, man. Just, uh, if you like long hair... Wear long hair, you know. Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. I had Focus. uh, Michelle. Hello, hello. Have you seen the trailer for God of War Five? No. Is that that's a thing? Um, <clears throat> yeah. If I can be honest for a second, so so when I first started growing my beard out a few years ago. Uh, when I say growing it, I have not been growing it for a few years. I mean, uh, I first, I, I just let my beard grow out uh, in 2016, I want to say. 2017? When was it? Maybe 2015, actually. Anyway, the first year I actually let my beard grow over the winter. I had uh, people, I had a few people say that I looked like a terrorist, which, uh, aside from being racist, is just not a very uh, nice thing to say to somebody. You know what I mean? Um, and, uh, and I'm like, you know what? That kind of bothered me, but I continue growing it out because I like having a beard. You know what I mean? I just like having a beard. So I, ha yeah, I haven't seen it. Ragnarok. I have not seen the trailer for it. Um, then again, I've, I've not really, I've not purposely been avoiding it, but I've also not been searching for it. Uh, because I just didn't, you know, I'm like, well, I still got to play this one. Okay. So now all of a sudden I can magically destroy these things. Why couldn't I do that before? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm dumb. It's because they're not actually vulnerable in that realm, are they? Okay, I think I understand. Here, yeah. boy. Yes, sir. Long hair, don't care. What Lots of great say? kings have long hair. Mm -hmm. That's true. Something about an long live Warfare Ragnar one. Lothbrok. <laughs> I don't get it. If both sides need it. You shouldn't see it before beating this. Share. Okay, Greed. sounds good. I'll. I will, will purposely avoid it then. Cause for war. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me being a getting to be a grumpy old man or what, but like I just don't I, I don't really look for trailers anymore. Um I don't know, I've been burnt on the hype they recently. Murdering the lighthouse. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Gosh, these guys look oh. kind of tough. Are they gonna fight me? Ooh, okay. I gotta learn their I gotta learn their attacks though. Trailer has many spoilers if you haven't played the recent game. Really? Okay. Okay, then I will definitely avoid it, because yeah, I have in fact not played uh this game before. This is the first playthrough. Correct. Oh dang, okay, that'd be kinda cool if I could have used that spear or that uh, trident a little more. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Uh, just so you know, I'm an open book when it comes to my cerebral palsy and questions that might come about it. Don't mind at all. In fact, I'd rather people ask if they care to. So if people are to ask about it in your chat, don't worry. I even joke about it quite a bit, so it's all good. I appreciate that. Seriously, that's a really good outlook to have, too, because to be honest with you, I just don't, um, I think, we all could use just more understanding about each other. You know what I mean? 
Um, and I realize for some people it's really difficult to talk about. Um, so it's hard to it's hard to know if like if people are open to talking about it. But it is helpful if you can, you know. So I get that. I appreciate that a lot. Um, and that's another thing I've been learning about a lot uh, pretty recently is just just being uh, games becoming more accessible. Um, you know, and so I'm I'm kind of curious just about that. Like, uh, you know, I think I think one of the things I had heard about Elden Ring is people were bashing on it for having like an easier mode or something. I don't know if I if that was Elden Ring or a different game, but it's sort of like I don't. Ooh, did that just reheal? Sure did. Got to get them both. If, got it. Um, I think it was Elden Ring that had that I'd heard had an easier mode. I'm not actually sure, but a bunch of people were upset that some game had an easy mode. And it's no. like, why is that a problem? Oh, okay. Elden Ring doesn't have difficulty. Okay, I wonder what game it was I was thinking of then. But um, one of the games. Uh, let me ask you this, uh, Crystal. Have you played Sea of Thieves? Sea of Thieves. Um, that is a game I I I love Sea of Thieves, and I've been hearing good reports in terms of accessibility. I'm just wondering if uh, how it's viewed by people in general. It seems like it's pretty good. So. Oh my gosh. Are we seriously in the 30s? My goodness. Uh, What's the number after 33 and before 35? It is 34 freaking months, my friend. Holy crap. Can we get some cheers up for Kirk? You guys, fun fact, for those of you that didn't know, Kirk was my very first subscriber. Very first. We met pretty early on in the stream days. Uh, he's he's a day one -er. He's a day one -er. Burnett, welcome in. Is this ultra mode? Um, uh, is ultra mode a difficulty or a graphics? Sorry, I apologize for my ignorance. <clears throat> uh, since I was introduced in PC or Mac, I've been addicted to it. Then 2018, my foreign cousin bought me Xbox 360, but I didn't get used to it because we didn't know how to plug or set it up. Uh, now it's rusted. But one of the controllers and games are still good. I'm very sad because I was so excited trying a new thing, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, holy moly's right, stuff. People have suggested that Elden Ring and other Souls games have more accessibility options, but a lot of the fans of those games are opposed and think it would ruin the game. See, that seems silly to me. Does, it, does, uh, does anybody else feel that way? I mean... Like, you don't have to turn down the difficulty if you don't want. You know, like, there could be two different, even just two difficulty options, just to open it up to more people. You know, like, one is, you know, the the classic experience, and then one is maybe, like, a, I don't even know what you'd call it, but, you know, an easier mode. Wait, is that Sindri? Ooh, pretty. So, are these, these seem like different, I don't know, it seems like a metaverse, you know what I'm saying? I just, oh, that's another thing. I just saw the new Spider-Man movie this weekend, so thank goodness. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, I believe it is Ultra, burn it. Let's check. Yes, indeed. Indeed, my friend. So this is, in fact, Ultra. Look, there's a boat tangled up over there. <clears throat> new player. Wait, free the boat? Okay. Is he on the boat? I'm too slow. Okay, these might come back at different times. Let's see. That one came back pretty dang quick. Eh, maybe they're not. Oh, I probably got to get it on the backswing, don't I? Well, not good enough. Okay, I got to figure out. I got to maybe line them up. Maybe I can do it if I line them up. There we go. Perfect. Free boat. I play almost all games on easy mode. I know. I know. You, I remember you saying that before, Lady Iron. I don't like. I don't. Who cares? You know what I mean? Like I. The reason I play on normal is not because I'm afraid people will judge me. It's just because I like to have a nice balance between, uh, you know, the difficulty of the game and the storyline, you know? 
But if you like to just enjoy the story, enjoy the story. Like, I just don't understand. I don't get all the gatekeeping around video games. Like, I just don't understand. No, technology can be hard sometimes. It can, for sure. Uh, I think the attitude is incredibly toxic. There are people who get personal value from having beaten those games. I, I guess, yeah, I guess. I'm something of a scientist myself. <laughs> uh, as a developer, my husband was a champion for adding accessibility to the software he worked on. It was cool. That That is awesome. What part of the game uh, you at? Act 1? Uh, yes. This is my very first time in Alfheim, if that helps. Uh... Maybe so. Maybe that's Act Two. I'm not really sure, but uh, this is this is my map. If it helps, wow, zoom is very slow. I'm trying to zoom out to show you my map. I, I've done a decent amount of exploration around the Lake of Nine, but not. Uh, you know, there's still there's still plenty to explore here, and I just now landed in Alfheim for the very first time. So if that if that gives you an idea, I I don't know because I've I've never never played this game before, so I don't really know um how far into it I am. Sindri, do you How remember me? Here before us, dwarf. We were told our path was the only one between realms. Well, it may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full It of is the same Sindri, okay. Not an answer. I was wondering if it was some sort of oh, metaverse going on, but wonder. There's so little mystery once you've amassed the Hey, what's going on, Nidalicious? You eat it like a Leviathan axe. You eat resources. How to craft them into creations that defy Still sitting at a super nice number there. The novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. But uh, Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? Gosh, who's this guy? Uh, uh, is he the same dude that plays? I think it's the Riddler in the Arkham games. Is it the same voice actor? Maybe I'm thinking of a different guy. Sindri, have you always been so? Voice clean? sounds similar to. Huh. Sounds very familiar. Don't I wish. No, I was just as unsanitary as the next dwarf until the day a Vanir witch set me straight. She discovered with her magic there are hundreds of thousands of tiny beasties on everything around us. Ugh, so small you can't even see them. No. It's true. And if they get inside... I know, like, as soon as, as, soon as somebody says the... But the witch told me there's one wood, the oak, that's a natural deterrent... No, he's dandelion, to right? ...from spreading, so now I make all my handles from oak. He sounds like Dandelion from The Witcher. Okay, back to That's work. who I'm thinking of, I think. Anyway. Gotta lurk while I get yelled at by hangry patients. Ah, sorry to hear that, dude. Hopefully it's hopefully it's not too much yelling. More thank yous. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, people are terrible no matter the subject. To work with metals using... Oh. His this easy mode hands. on life give you a discount on bills Ugh. and such that would be nice no right? gloves says it's the only way he can hear what it wants to be touch enough raw silver and it changes your skin irreparably oh interesting forever. that means forever I wouldn't bring it up to him though <laughs> you know how sensitive they... i'm gonna bring it up to him if sense. i can all right hang on one second <laughs> easy life mode would be easy indeed yeah that's why I know a lot of stuff in PC. It's like it's advanced settings and other others would say uh, I'm an amateur at fixing and stuff. <laughs> All good. No settings for new players versus classic experience. I just play on the default unless I really like the game. I might replay on harder. Yeah, for, exactly. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. If I have troubles. I have no problem lowering the difficulty. I was very close on the Malakos level of Fallen Order. Wh which difficulty did you end up playing on? Personally, Souls players are entitled to think as they please. It does not change the fact that making the game more playable for others that are not used to high difficulty levels would only open the game being played more by more people, possibly grow the fan base. In my eyes, if you are opposed to giving easier difficulty options and you're fighting against the fan base of a game you you love growing, as just plain and simple makes no sense. I fully agree, 100%. So I'm in the middle of Act 1. Uh, middle of Act 1 and 2. Okay, nice. Very nice. Easy mode is easy to understand the game and more like know the game. It's best to practice. Yeah. 
That's why I know a lot of stuff in PC, like it's advanced settings and others. I would say I'm an amateur at fixing uh, and stuff. <laughs> All good. All good. Uh, never expect people to agree with me, but I appreciate that you can at least see where I'm coming from. For sure. For sure. No, I mean, every other game, you know, like, like there used to be, um, one, okay, one of the ones that was really big when I was, when I was in, uh, what, high school, early college, I can't remember when exactly, but, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, right? There was the hardest difficulty in the Modern Warfare games. Um, there was a post- a post credit scene that you could play. Um, and the achievement for it was called uh, Mile High Club. It was a very short little mission and you had to fight through this airplane uh, and save like a hostage in a hostage situ situation. It was actually a really cool mission. Um, and that was sort of like, uh, that was sort of a, a cool thing to brag about. Like, oh, you know, I'm Mile High Club member, right? Cause like if you beat the game, you got Mile High Club. Uh, that's like something that you can brag about, but like anybody could play that mission. It's just depending on, you didn't get the mile high club member title unless you beat on the hardest difficulty. I don't understand why the souls games can't be like that, right? Like if you just, if you want to say you beat the souls game, like just say you beat on the hardest difficulty. I, I don't, I don't get why it's, why it would be such an issue. But. Atreus is racist to Sindri a little bit. Uh, I've not played. I haven't played any other God of War game CPU. This is my very first one. It was just Jedi Knight. Hadn't played that type of combat style game before, uh, though. So I had a rough time with that fight. Yeah, I mean, it's basically Dark Souls. It's Dark, Dark Souls with a Star Wars skin is what it is. That game is legend. Oh, I loved it. I loved uh, honestly Modern Warfare. The first one, the campaign was fantastic. Remember that? I always play that every uh, play that game every time I uh, wake up, but time passed by and I forget about it. Perfect the way it is. Cindy, why don't you just make up with your brother already? Are you talking about uh, the because he's an obstinate gosh. pighead incapable of uh, Call of Duty? Because he says the most terrible Modern Warfare. About me just because that game had some really really great work, missions. Which, in let it. me tell you is subpar because he blames me for for the things that aren't my fault. Huh? Like what? Would you pardon me, please? What am I doing I on time here? Myself. Dark Souls games don't need a good difficulty because they're always on hard, and it should be that way. But I get that. But, like, if there are players, like, okay, so, for instance, reflexes, right? There are certain things that are beyond people's control, like disabilities, for instance, that affect a person's reflexes right so like i don't know I, I have a hard time saying that nobody should be able to play that game just because like something beyond their control you know what i mean so uh, for me i think that they could add difficulties set it set it on normal right so like you don't even choose your difficulty the game loads right in and you're on normal but if you want to lower the difficulty later by manual setting i don't have a problem with it i don't know Anyone play Jedi Power Battles on Dreamcast? Uh, wait, isn't that the game I was talking about? Jedi Power Battles? I think that was the one I mentioned, Steph, the other day. I played it on PlayStation, though, not Dreamcast. Mr. Born Slippy, hello, good morning, good morning. How you doing today? God of War pre-2018 synopsis. Kratos is angry, becomes the new God of War, kills the Greek pantheon. <laughs> I should watch, like, all the cutscenes or something leading up to it. I'm All right. I don't feel like. Today. Let's see. Did he unlock anything new? He did. Viken, Viken tunic. Wolfskin shoulder guard. Okay. Okay. How do we? Let's see. Strength has been the one I've been uh, in. Like I've been leaving my strength up pretty high. I don't know how important strength really is. Modern Warfare Two is the best. Kata will one v one anyone on Rust if you say otherwise. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to remember if I... Did I play Modern Warfare 2? I feel like I did. Just the campaign, though. Are you talking campaigns or what? Uh, I thought Black Ops, the first Black Ops game, also had a pretty dang good campaign. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, the campaigns, I, I don't know, of the ones I've played, were sort of... Eh. Modern Warfare 1, for sure. I can't remember if I played... I think I played Modern Warfare 2. I think so. Yeah, so that's zero strength on that, but a lot of defense and a couple of vitality points, too. Hmm. 
Hmm. Shoulder guard, though. Runic defense. It's, it could eventually maybe be an upgraded version of the boar hide. So I think there's no reason to not buy this one. Because I'll be able to upgrade it. Uh, Yeah, I'll be able to upgrade this one. So let's go ahead and buy this. Wait, I only have 17,000 hacks over. I just realized that. Okay, so maybe don't buy it yet. But eventually I could. I'm probably not going to buy any other bracers. My bracers are really good. Viking waste guard. Yeah, it's uh, essentially it looks like an upgrade from the, well, kind of from the Death's Vow. Reaver belt. There's a lot here. I think it's why they've given people the horse, etc. The horse is very, very questionable from a purist standpoint. Huh. Purist is a slippery slope and comes across as gatekeeping. Is it sorry? My subconscious must have remembered. I'm always doing housework while I've got you on. <laughs> All good. All good. I'm pretty sure that was the game I mentioned, though, Steph. I think so. Your beard will look like Kratos if you just straighten it out. Yeah, I know. My I got the curly beard hair, right? Is it a little straighter? I have tried straightening it, uh, and I'd have to maybe shave it to a little bit more of a point, but I don't know. Could try it. Yes, my young man. Well, nothing, nothing new for Atreus. Uh, and I, I'm just not looking for a new axe pommel. My axe pommel's really good. I like it a lot. Haven't even really upgraded it yet, though. That's, I guess, the downside. But talisman of unbound potential. Refresh all runic attack cooldowns. Also has pass effect that increases runic when a runic attack is on cooldown. Huh? When it's on cooldown, it increases runic. Okay. I'm sure, whatever that means. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like that one better or not. Buy some other enchantments, though. Generate common enchantment. An enchantment that increases a random stat. Can't upgrade anything. Uh, eh, let's see. I can sell a gears gold for hack silver. No, 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 no. I don't have any other collections to sell. You so need to make excuses to say hello. <laughs> All right, but he at least does have some new gear now, which is good. So play doom and doom eternal on hardest to play DLC one on hardest for a while. But eventually I was like, I don't have the time or patience for this. Lowered it all the way to easy. I think doom and eternal had a really good difficulty achievable yet yet. Uh, or achievable even on hardest. DLC 1 was just difficult to be difficult. Haven't tried DLC 2 yet. I've played games like that too, Nidalicious, where it's like, okay, why is this just is this just to make people upset? And I think the answer is yes for some games. Wait a minute. Okay. I guess I'm just going to carry this out there. And it's gone. <laughs> You have the Leonidas beard from 300. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that every day of the week. Appreciate that, Michelle. Really? Gosh, I'm blushing now. Okay. You just can't see it behind my Leonidas beard. Love Captain Price. He's my idol. Captain Price, pretty great character for sure. Did your mother speak of this realm? Modern Warfare Not 2 much. overall, I think. COD 5, World at War, the best campaign, the though, I reckon. Kind of stopped the getting the new ones like 2019. Get really? World at War? I thought that game was overall extremely, and I mean extremely mediocre. Uh, I, I don't know. I the the World War Two, like all of those, uh, the modern wars were a little bit more. Like it was, it was definitely much more fresh. Like they beat the the world World War Two genre to death. Between that and Medal of Honor, I mean, holy crap! Uh, back in those days, they just absolutely beat a dead horse. Um, so I don't know. It was it was nice to see when modern warfare, uh, you know, went modern. <laughs> it was kind of nice to see. So huh? again, I said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. Ah! Ah! What is it, uh -oh. boy? Voices. Oh. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was Ooh. screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Well, that's not good. Evil. I 
I don't like that. Nope, don't like that. <clears throat> kill someone, then go to Ares. He will burn the guy who he killed, and his skin will be covered with his ashes. Perfectly be Kratos. <laughs> Anyways, Mr. Lutz, who's your favorite character? Favorite character in what? In this game? That's why I was randomly thinking of it on Sunday. One of the first games I remember playing. We watched a fan-made Star Wars on Sunday. Four and a half hours long. <laughs> it cut, uh, cut up bits from films, animated series, and cartoons to make it all chronological. It was sick. That is, That sounds very interesting. What, um, was it from... Huh. Where'd you find that? Was it on YouTube or something? Just look at games this way. When I get older, I can't expect myself to still have this, my same reflexes I have now. Should I just not be able to play games I loved when I was younger because I can't keep up with those reflex requirements anymore? The line of thinking literally makes zero sense and has no justification. It's tough. Yeah, it's it, right. Exactly, Crystal. And that's the thing. And it's it's totally beyond your control, right? Like, it's not like you're still going to love playing video games, I imagine, as you get older. But, like, you can't help a disability, right? Like, so that's... I get that. And that that's tough. That's for sure tough. Confused. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Praise the sun, my friend. How are you? Elden Ring is fantastic. I'm glad people are enjoying it. I seriously like uh, it's about dang time we had a game that was hyped up uh, that lives up to the hype. You know what I mean? Yeah. I still heartbreaks for cyberpunk. I really no. but maybe they need I'm going to play it. And I'm going to still maybe enjoy it. I can tell you that now. It's just I feel so bad. Us. I start looking at it from a different us. a different angle these days, you know? Like the devs, for a lot of them, that's like the crowning achievement of their life, like their life's work. And people were like, oh, this is garbage. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a tough world out there. So, yeah. Hard for me to get all the computers. Uh, I did feed his kid iron at all in, in uh, Modern Warfare. Maybe I related to the Brits in the campaign in COD 5. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Mac Daddy, welcome back in. Hey, hey, how you doing today? I'm gonna off him and share it on Discord. Yeah, I'm just interested. I don't. I'll be honest. I don't know if I can sit down and watch a four-hour Star Wars thing all at once. But maybe, maybe piece by piece. But I'd at least be curious to know where it came from. You know? Oh my God, it's a head. She's sleeping. Yeah, she's sleeping with her eyes open. Oh my gosh, that is lovely. Gosh dang, this game has just had got some unexpected beauty in it, for real. You gotta take a second to soak it all in. Doing well, just about to go for a job soon. Wait, really? Look, they have sand bowls in Alfine too. Uh, this turned into a podcast real quick. <laughs> Should I read it? You know, we try to we try to ta tackle some uh, some life topics as well, not just games. Very hard for me to get all the computers. This is so well put together. I'm not 100 percent sure I would have followed it fully if my boyfriend wasn't next to me, happily answering any and all questions. Really, doing pretty well, Mac. Thanks for asking. Uh, as an older gamer, to play a lot of games, I have uh, to limit my play of some, but in general, I still game enough to keep me happy. For sure, I fully expect that will be the case ask? for me as well as I age. Me. I know for some people it just, you know, yeah, sometimes life you, happens. I am life you know? most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Uh, so who is it, Mr. Lutz? Favorite character in Modern Warfare? Ooh. Probably Soap. I just like saying Soap McTavish. Right? Soap McTavish, right? It's just a fun name. Uh, not played Elden Ring yet. I have it locked, cocked, and ready to rock on my Series X, but I'm waiting until I can stream it to play for the first time and stream my reactions and thoughts. Waiting to get an issue with my upload speed fix, though, before I can do that. Oh, man. Upload speeds. Don't get me started. Are you are you based in the Savvy U.S., Crystal? And upload speeds place. are frustrating but around here. War makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. Like, all these, like, war, Xfinity, they, they keep bragging about how much uh, download speed I have. And I'm like, I don't freaking care. Lost. Like, my download speed Sometimes is more than adequate. I just want more you upload speed. Know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or Oh, look at that. Battle There's a crow I'm definitely going to murder. Soldier. Take Wars note, Coleman. Take note. Who are willing to sacrifice Go over here so I can murder it. Victory. Light Elf Shore. Was that Tay Fidi's head? I don't know. 
I get him from over here? Oh gosh, nightmares. Oh, good. That was a good little uh, attack there by the uh, the nightmare. Ah, oh, sorry, Coleman. Just murdered that bird. Mur bird the bird birder. Let's see, do I have the ability to have him shoot these? Like, probably not yet, but but soon. Nista. Nista. Put on the blinders. So good. Uh, so far, I'm glad I've been able to. Yeah, I need to... I definitely would like to check it out at some point. Ooh, what level we got over here? Hang on a second. Show me that health bar. Ah, it's fine. Whatever. We'll kill it. If we level six, we'll still kill it. I don't care. Okay. I guess he is very... Uh, stunned by my axe. Let him get a little closer. Good thing I can throw my axe through my son without any uh, actual damage. That's good. Perfect. That was uh, that was tough. There's been a muck duck. <laughs> I did mine, Captain John Price, because of the last name. You like his last name? So we get a blinders. Anyone here watch Peaky Blinders? First episode of season six came out in UK on Sunday. Final season. I've not actually seen Peaky Blinders. Kind of experience that only feels this way the first time. Oh, nice. I missed that one. You missed that one? The the crow I just killed? Or the the raven of Odin? Oh, no, not a worm. Although, if he can't go underground, he can't get me. Big brain moves. Big brain moves. Oh, look, another hidden temple. Hidden chamber. Oh, good dodge, good dodge. Did he go underground? He did. What did he get? He really got me? Oh. Here we go. We got him back. I mean, yes, I'm paying for 50 megabyte upload speeds and are supposed to get 40 mega, megabit uh, minimum at all, all the time. Sorry. Right now, a problem with modem has been found and isolated, so a replacement should fix the problem. That being said, right now, I have only 5 megabit upload speeds. It's killing me to not stream. Don't get me wrong, I love being here to support people like this. I'm all for that, but I'm excited to get back into streaming with all of you also. Yeah, so, yeah, that's frustrating. I recently got some new hardware myself. I got a new uh, router. My old one, it was a few years old now. Spools of War, okay. That's the first artifact I'd found in a while. Uh, but it's frustrating, like... Uh, for me, the, the issue is that I just can't even buy, like, I currently am maxed out on upload speed for what my provider offers. Uh, it's at 35, which isn't bad, but it was at 20 before. And so when it would dip, sometimes it would just dip randomly. Uh, you know, it would go down to two or three. Wait a minute. How'd that not get it? Is there a third one somewhere? Yeah, there is. Okay. Can I jump over there? I... Okay, there we go. Perfect. This should work. Oh, okay. What am I doing? There we go. You're out of here, Moe. Uh, appreciate you stopping in, my friend. Hope you have a good day. Uh, good sleep first and then a good day. You're in Southeast Michigan. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Not too far from me then. I'm in Central Indiana. Missed that Raven uh, rip. I have so much to do in this game. We got too many good games to play. What a time to be alive. I know, right? You'd like it once you get used to the accent. It's brilliant. Uh, it's based partly in my area of West Midlands. Peaky blind us. Peaky blind us, mate. I, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I know that was terrible. <laughs> It's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I would like to check it out, though. I'm trying to think, what is the other one, though? Twin Peaks, right? There's a show called Twin Peaks. Or something else, Peaks. Frost Giant's Frenzy. I think we started watching the other Peaks one. Loot's one Australia. <laughs> yeah, it went somewhere. Three powerful slam attacks that launch enemies and then sends them flying. Okay. That sounds kind of cool. Let's check it out.
Let's see. It does a lot of damage. I don't really care so much about frost. Uh, does more damage instant. I think I'm going to use that one instead. It's still an area attack. Let's give it a shot. What else do we get? Oh, I'm level two. I'm level three now. Oh, it's the axe abilities. Yes. Okay. Axe abilities are level three, so I can uh, I can do some more things now. There's a show called Twin Peaks. Got it. Okay. Okay. That's what it is then. Tricky, my friend. Eleven months. My goodness. Holy crap. Time flies. Can we get some cheers up in the chat for Tricky? Almost on that one year. Cheers. How you doing, man? Yeah, so uh, Twin Peaks, I think I get the, the Peak shows mixed up. So there's Peaky Blinders and Twin Peaks. I think we started watching Twin Peaks and... Uh, Mrs. Magoots was like, nah, I'm not enjoying this so much. So we didn't end up, uh, we didn't end up watching any more of that. So got to go to sleep. It's 1044 PM. Okay. Sounds good. King. Hope you have a great stream. Appreciate you stopping back in and, uh, glad you're doing well. We Americans always mentally break when we ask to use an English accent. Comes out Australian every time. That's true. That's true. <laughs> you really look like Trevor Slattery. Who's that? Doing mighty fine. Can't complain. Glad to hear that. Trevor Slattery? Hang on a second. A second. Hopefully this is uh hopefully that's a compliment. I guess we're gonna find out. Trevor Slattery. I always like hearing when people think uh who I look like. Oh, he's in Shang-Chi. Oh, this dude. This dude. I gotcha. He's the Mandarin. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Ben Kingsley. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do I? Do other people agree? Tuesday on it. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I've been seeing you in my recommended for a little while now. Today I didn't have prior commitments pulling me other places, so I thought I'd come and hang out and enjoy more God of War with you. Glad I did. Your stream is a good time. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Seriously. I'm glad I'm glad that I was recommended to you, too, because uh, it's good to hear that. And then we, we end up meeting some pretty nice people that way. So, as an American, I do all sorts of accents. Just have to have the ear for them. I uh, I can do very few accents. Is that the fake Mandarin from Iron Man? The fake Mandarin. Great actor. Peaky Blinders follows a Birmingham gang. Oh, sorry, I said it. I said that too. Way too UKish. A Birmingham gang. Uh, it's choir violent, and they swear a lot, but the acting and story is brilliant. It's quite violent. They swear a lot, but the acting and story is brilliant. Got it. It's in the beard. Otherwise, not nah. okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, was saying, I don't know if I really see it, but, you know, I see me all the time, you know. Let's see. Perform attacks in quick succession. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't I, why don't I get this one? It'd be a good one. All right. And then this one does increase the amount of permafrost gained on every successful axe hit. Okay. While evading, hold S and press uh, left click for a quick boomerang throw. Oh, that's nice. Problem is, I really don't end up. I don't know. Maybe I haven't really done the whirling storm yet either. So maybe I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to purchase that. A heavy leaping attack while sprinting. I'm going to go with that. Quote. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> uh, it's okay. You have the voice of a well-spoken American and give us all a good name. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think that's a compliment. Well-spoken American. Uh, if you look more older, you should be his identical twin. That's true. I He probably does have a few years on me, so. Especially want to talk accents. You can literally go anywhere in this country, and if you really pay attention to how people talk, you hear five different accents in a matter of five or ten minutes. That's true. That's true. People are sponges for culture and don't realize it. Trip Chance, hello. Hello there. Hello there. I don't know that I gave Dr. Uh, or sorry, uh, Dr. Trip Chance. I did. I don't know that I gave uh, True Kelt a hello there earlier either. Friendship honks all around to make up for it. Honk. Friendship honks. Multiple. Honk. There we go. There we go. Friendship honks. Everybody's having a good day. Uh, I am, in fact, having a good day, Trip Chance. 
Hope you are as well. Should I buy some of these ranged ones? Massive explosion impact? Oh. Okay, that's not bad. Aim and hold uh, left to select three targets on a single enemy or across three separate enemies. Hang on a second. Ooh, can I do that? Can I do that, like, on these weird tendril things, too? We're going to find out. Oh, I meant to buy that one earlier. We're going to do that one, too. All right. That's it for my experience. <clears throat> We are back in 15. Going to make breakfast. Sounds good, Mac. Uh, let's see. Time-wise, that should work out pretty well. That should work out pretty well. Why do I feel like you have an actual honker there instead of a button? <laughs> uh, I don't know. It just sounds... It's uncanny, right? It is uncanny. Wait, which way did I come from? It was over there. You, you, you never know. It does sound like I have... I'm holding a goose hostage, right? Richard, personally, I love hearing the differences in how people talk and the culture and ancestry behind how a person might say something. It really is fascinating to me. It is. Uh, I've actually had several people tell me I have, like, a, a southern U.S. accent, which is kind of funny. Because uh, I don't feel like I do, but um, but I also I like hearing your own voice. I, I mean, does anybody feel like they have an accent? You know what I mean? Like, everybody else has an accent. You yourself don't have an accent, right? That's how I feel in a lot of ways. All right. That was one little area here. So this is, I, I assume, is still called the Lake of the Nine. So uh, looks like we have a little Mother dam here. A damn! A of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? Wait, did she I park here yet? I have not yet. Weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. I kind of want to just go ahead and keep going on this area here. The blue door. That's got to be the entrance. Let's go. There's a difference between the hold throw and quick throw. The Careful quick throw has access to multiple targets. Just a tidbit that gets lost in the text. Gotcha. Oh my gosh. Look at this view. Oh. Bridget, he covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? That stuff. Reinforcements. I would say that thing. Oh gosh. Let's test out. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's try one of these. Uh, so. Okay, no, that was, I think that was the swirling axe thing. Let's test this one out. Oh, right, I didn't. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's see. You never know. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What in the world? Why are my dodges not working? Maybe the timing was just bad? I don't like that I have to push those at the exact time. Really? No, anybody was gonna dodge my rage attack there. Wrecked! Oh, come on, that didn't kill him. Okay. Whew. Uh, let's see. What are you? What do you mean, CPU? Had others tell me I don't have that strong of an accent despite my brother having a strong accent? I think it's because of the differences in media consumption as a kid. Uh, I've always been a film guy. Back to lurking. No worries, no worries. Always been a film guy, huh? Like that little bit of rage there. Uh, okay, that fight was kind of tough. These dark elves are, uh, a little bit tricky. Trixie hobbits is... Let's see. What about down there? Eh, it looks like there's an elevator down there. It's probably my way back up. Guess I just gotta jump down over here. Same I love accents. I did psychology at uni, and I remember finding research that said females are more likely to pick up an accent than males. It had something to do with wanting to fit in. Uh, been a few 
too many years to remember the why now. Uh, I think it's just due to like like making people feel more comfortable, right? When uh, people feel more comfortable when they when they're around people that look and sound like them. That's just human nature, I guess. Uh, let's see. Can I? Probably can't eat that over there. Um. Yeah, I. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Mrs. Magoots has said that before. Like she's wanted to use accents. <laughs> And she's like, why am I doing this? Oh, there's something. He shot right where I pointed, but it didn't really help. Okay. So do I have to... Maybe I do... Oh, you know what? I do need to use this right here. Potentially. So that did something, I think. Maybe? Ready yourself, boy. Wait, they're attacking again? Oh my gosh. Midwest PA is kind of hilarious. It's mostly just slaying from this area. Lots of rural area around here. Mix that, mix that in with a few uneducated folks and you have some serious backwoods talk. Uh, it does, let me just tell you, it, there's some there's some of that here in, the, uh, in Indiana as well. Correct. All right, let's see if I can get this uh, heavy. Nope. Oh, did get him actually. Let's try this new runic attack. Oh, that's the old one. Let's try this one. I can dig it. I can dig it. What is their problem with us? We do not belong here. <laughs> It's funny as it is because I have two mother tongues. I have a special accent issues. I speak Persian with a Tur Turkish a Turkish accent. I speak Turkish with a Persian accent. I speak English with a mixed accent. <laughs> uh, at least I can hear many tendencies in your speech patterns and how you say things. The reason is because I've recently watched more than a few videos uh, that have pinpointed what people listen uh, for in how a person talks and what the differences tend to be from area to area around the U.S. So three sentences into you talking when I joined stream, I was already pinpointing some things. Really? What did you get out of it? All right, so we move that one. Let's move this other one over here. God of War made me realize I'll never learn another language. Languages are hard, huh? Especially if you start with English, because they're just, I don't know. I think this is something. A lot of the other ones are, I don't know. They kind of look like a room. A lot of the Latin based languages, you, you know, there are things that you can kind of compare. There's, you know, some of some of that, but then we just have such weird rules in in the English language. It makes no sense. It contradicts each other. Anyway, game intensity is starting to pick up. It is, yeah. Okay, so that made something over there. Do I? Hmm. Don't see anything else over here. Yeah. Maybe we should check the sand bowl again. That's what I was thinking too, boy. Someone from that area get that entirely. Multi-hit throw is the best way to build your frost passive. Yes, definitely. You can't be hit during the buildup. All right, so that Father, was... You ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. That's not Enough. good. Stories, yeah. Father, the Stories are, are for the boat. Man, why'd I have to... I shouldn't have disembarked yet. Shouldn't have done it. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. It's a riddle? Yeah. It's water, all right. We just add water to ah! the sand? Uh-oh. Boy! It was the voices again. Different voices, less angry. We gotta get to the bottom of this. They're asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. <laughs> He's not wrong. Okay, so a bridge of some sort? What's happening? Whoa, look what we found. Oh, no, it's just a way just part of the sea. Father? Yes. 
the voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus. Green Enough. Temple Trench. Okay. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. Oh, he's the tougher guy. He's a real tough guy. That can't be good. Okay, so I'm not very good at fighting these guys yet, and now they bring more of them out. Okay, good. No, no, no! I want the stun! There we go. Woo. That's just so dang cool. I dodged right into that. That was not as much of an area attack as I, uh, for some reason, thought it was. And I'm just not doing so hot. Going pretty rough. Pretty rough roll loots out here. Would help if a uh, boy didn't uh, shoot his arrows into the side of the wall there. Wouldn't Stay hurt. Away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. When did we kill the fancy guy though? So look at all those elves flying around here. Okay, we got a new tip here. Dark Elf. Unlike the Light Elves of Alfheim, the Dark Elves prefer dark places. Maybe that's why they want to cover up the light. They can fly and seem pretty smart and well-coordinated, more so than most of the enemies we've fought so far. Their weapons are useful, effective up close and at a distance, kind of like Father's Axe. Dark Elves like to attack as a group. When Father lands a heavy hit or parries, it tends to break the swarm. If we can freeze or weaken the Dark Elves, it will prevent them from using air recoveries when launched. Okay. Gotta freeze them. Freeze. Fancy boy is still around, no worries. Yeah, I think so. I think you're right. We'll take these health pieces, though. Let's see, we got something to turn over here. Let's turn it. Be ready. What? Ooh. A Draugr. A dead Draugr. A more dead Draugr, I guess. Hope that was worth it. Nope, that was worth it. Wait. What? Uh, an easy no-hit kill? Yeah, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Ooh, there's another one somewhere? Okay. Where's the other tendril? Right here? Yeah, okay. Yeah, two of them here. Let's see. What can I do for it? What's this? Oh, just a little container for Hacksilver, I guess. Okay. How do I... Hmm... really sure how to get to this other one. Where are you at, Atreus? But yes, I see that. I'm, so I'm trying to... Can I target it and then walk around over there? I haven't... Hey, Peachy. Welcome back in. Oh, what's going on, Nander? Boy, sub to loots for 10 months and you will win my love. Here, thank you so much for that, Nander. How's today going for you? Glad to have you back, Peachy. Glad to have you back. Indian accent is strong for sure. I can easily hear that combined with what where you typically put the tip of your tongue on T, D, and N sounds. It is the same position you tend to hear from people in Michigan or really anywhere in this area of the country. Tongue placement is an important part of what makes a person sound different when they talk, and sometimes the changes can be subtle but make a big difference. Other times they are a lot easier to notice. So, yeah, 
uh, obviously it's it's not very far from Indiana, but uh, I actually grew up in Illinois. So central Illinois. So I'm, I'm about two hours east of where I grew up. But uh, yeah, it's it's funny. Uh, I had other friends who grew up in the Chicago area and some of them were in Wisconsin as well. And they, they were like, oh, yeah, your southern accent. I just I had to laugh at that. I'm like, really? My southern accent. They said I had a southern accent, but my dad especially had a southern accent, which is kind of funny to me. I don't know. Easily here. No, you're good. You're good. More than everyone's the first, so work is a little slow, thankfully. The first, uh, like the first day of the month. Man, how do I get that? I feel like I'm stupid right now. Uh, is there like a firebomb, or can I. I feel like this is sort of blocking me. Yeah. Did I try turning this again? I cannot turn it again. Okay, what about over here? Is there a. Uh, nothing over there. Okay, good. Good. So, how do I get this tendril to destroy? Can't swing at it from here. That doesn't work. First day of the month makes it a little slower. Gotcha, okay. So something about an Indiana accent. I'm from Indiana, live in Michigan currently. Like It's like this stream knows me scarily well. Whereabouts in Indiana, if you don't mind me asking. Uh... <clears throat> Kratos needs a jump button. I know. He's got this. Whatever this is. Okay, I'll come back, I guess. Try to come back. Can we keep moving? There's a Draugr in there. Parents were born and raised in Michigan. When we uh, lived in Indiana, people thought my mom was British because of how clearly she enunciated her words. Wait, really? Kind of interesting. Uh, okay, where's the dial for this one? I guess it's broken? Huh. Okay. There's something up there. Nothing up there. I can't turn this one back, so I guess that's it for now? Maybe come back later? We're about 20 minutes west of Indianapolis around the Avon, Brownsburg, Plainfield, Danville area. Nice, okay. Yes, they do. Uh, I, I live in Indianapolis, so in fact they do. are kind of tricky to dodge. There we go. Accents that stink for sure. I wouldn't say it's southern, but you have a slight twang in your voice that I can see them hearing as a southern accent. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> Miss India, I actually just went back so last summer for an impromptu class reunion. Okay, nice. Very nice. For sure, for sure. Peachy, my goodness. Appreciate that so much, Peachy Stars. Uh, cheers. Can we get some cheers up, everybody, for that first tier one sub right there? Cheers. Welcome into the guild. I love it. We've actually got a few, uh, we got a few people that live in Michigan too. So, a nice little, uh, nice little central, uh, United States, uh, group building up. Maybe we won't be totally outnumbered by the Canadians and, uh, and Brits. <laughs> so, it's pretty funny. Uh, okay. Let me move this thingy. But over here. What does this do? Ah. All right. See you, boy. Oh, wait. No, I'm coming, too. All right. <laughs> Fair oh, I'm going to have to freeze it. Okay. To freeze it. Find out. Totally had to sub to a fellow Hoosier. Appreciate that so much. Seriously. Can't believe it's taken me this long, but props on the epic beard action going on. Appreciate that, too. Uh, it is actually nearing the end of its uh, end of its cycle right now. Uh, hopefully that doesn't make anybody too sad, but uh, I grew my my beard is seasonal, so I let it grow out during the uh, 
I let it grow out during the winter months. I let it grow out during the winter months, and then uh, I whittle it down during the spring, and I keep it pretty short in the summer. So we're losing the beard soon, Uns. <laughs> I'm sorry. Common wrist armor. All right. Yeah, I probably won't ever wear that. That's fine. No getting rid of the beard until uh, until you finish a God of War out of respect. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully then in that case, uh, my plan was to have it trimmed down at least a little bit before my trip uh, to New York in the like late middle part of the month. Uh, just for ease of traveling. Uh, you know, I try to take good care of my beard, so uh, I'd have to bring some extra, you know, products and whatever. Also, I, I don't know if I have to wear a mask in New York or not. Uh, they're they're on the cusp of changing some of their laws, I know but boy, a beard and the mask just don't sure. play along very she well. Is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. So, ah. and it is an indoor competition, so yeah, I will not shan't be answering that call. Hockey players will be proud. It's a great playoff beard, right? Percent as well. Go get a professional trim and shape. You may want to keep it a bit longer. But wait a minute. Oh, is this how I can lower it over here, too? Or is that blocked by the tentacles? Not really sure. What's in here? Nothing? No, come on. There's got to be something in here. Hey, maybe not. All right, so let's recall the axe. Wait. Let's go over here first. Uh, I will have to recall the axe. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, there's that. Live, uh, live in the pain of a beard with a mask. It's just terrible. Like, it just, it cuts right in. Like, my mask wants to sit right here. So it ends up folding in on my beard. And then it really, I don't know, just looks bad. Just looks bad. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't, they don't play along too well. Oops, wrong button there. Husband does too. When he became a trucker, he embraced the bearded lives. Oh, God. Barton Rage, okay. Okay, for some reason, those attacks are not... Dang it, I was trying to do the finisher. I'm not going to go full Spartan Rage this whole time. Uh, I'm not complaining. I like it. This is kind of like the fight with the stranger, too. How do I get over there, though? I'm trying to jump. Oh boy. Ooh, freaking punching the wall out. Okay. Oh, no way. Oh, this done. This guy done. Piss Kratos off. See you, fancy boy. Wall on the way, punch it. Ooh, okay. That attack was definitely a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Which ones are these? Oh! That was brutal. Cut the dude straight in half. Is that actually recall one of the coolest dang things you've ever seen? Oh, no, it is. It's amazing. A long beard and had trouble wearing masks. As a joke, I might suggest wearing an Arabic face cover. Wait, what, uh, what does that look like? Trip chance. I don't know that I'm familiar with that. Where are these arrows coming from? Who freaking knows? I think people learn real quick. You don't piss off Kratos. Do not give the God of War a reason to make you a target. I know, they learned quick, but unfortunately, it's still too late. You know what I mean? 
It's a no very quick. Here. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. Okay, so I still have to get the light of Alfheim. Alf? Alfheim? Alheim. Alfheim? Wait, where am I at again? Alfheim. Yeah, yeah, Alfheim. Nailed it. All right, where is this tendril at? Gosh, so many faces everywhere. It's kind of creepy. So I'm not seeing much gameplay of this God of War, but I love watching the first three God of War games. Glad to see the level of violence. Oh, yeah, no doubt. It's definitely still there. Uh, this is the first one I've ever played. Looks like the tendril's actually down there. This is my this is my uh, introduction to the series. Oh, there's another one? Okay, where's it at? Hmm, where might the other one be? Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Trixie Hobbits is here. Is Alf the final boss here? Oh gosh, I hope not. That'd be terrifying. <laughs> Could you imagine a Norse, a Norse like boss version of Alf? Uh, I might have to come back for that. I don't, I don't know where else. Oh, gosh, I feel like I'm leaving so much behind. That's just right there for the taking. That's the problem with these games. Uh, they want you to, you know, backtrack a little bit. What's this? Oh, wait, there's one here? Yep, yeah, that's a different one. Okay, so there's one there. Uh, does that mean there's one under every bridge? So there's that one, and then that one over uh, right under this. And I probably can't hit them both, can I? Oh, no, I can. There we go. A little sneaky thing there. I advise bringing a cat. Uh, of course, it's too late. Look who you're dealing with. <laughs> right. Uh, find it through Google. They do make beard masks that are longer so they don't cur curve into your beard. So I've been wearing, I have a gator uh, that I've been wearing. It's got like a little, a little thing for a filter in it too, which is kind of cool. But uh, it's still not the best. What it does is it just smashes it down in my face. But it does equally smash it down in my face. That's the good part. Uh, you know. Praying that we were done with masks, but who knows? I know. I hope so, too. Uh, the school that I coach at actually just lift their mask mandate in the schools and on buses. Like, it's all gone now. Which I was like, okay, that's fine. We've been seeing decreased cases. It's a natural step in the progression. But the thing that makes me a little bit nervous is they, they said that reporting in the in the COVID dashboard is no longer required either. And I'm hey, like... You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died. Okay, so they said... She knew what she was doing. Okay. They said that basically what they'll do is they'll track a uh, number of absences and if they go up, they'll kind of automatic, like they'll just reconvene and, and try to figure out if they should go back to wearing masks. But it's like, okay, but you don't know why those students are absent. You know what I mean? Like, I think the COVID dashboard was still important for tracking COVID cases. Like, I think it's just too premature to stop that. So that's, that's I guess, state government for you, but uh that's that's what they ended up doing but equal opportunity face smasher oh my <laughs> believe it's designed to intentionally leave some uh, for later for new game plus don't know that for sure but it's a thought yeah i think well and also you can backtrack and end up figuring out like you know come back with more powers and whatnot i just don't know how much backtracking i'll be willing to do if i'm being totally honest all right i guess we're climbing down Ugh, more of it Ooh, okay, that's just climbing back up. All right, gotta knock out these two. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Ooh. Expect resistance. Oh, nice, right. okay, so these, I didn't have to shoot them, they just come out automatically. Lots of backtracking in this game and some unavoidable. I figured that would be the case too. So unless you want 100%, I'd not worry about it too much, yeah. That's my thought too, is like, I'll end up back, if they need me to backtrack, I'll backtrack and I can find that stuff. That's kind of, uh, that's honestly like an old school game mechanic too, you know? Legit playing the Scooby-Doo games I played as a kid. You had to backtrack for some of it. Really? How'd you get an attack in there? To be honest, I don't understand that bit at all. Yeah. 
There's some things you need to backtrack for, but some things like the puzzle you gave up on, you had everything you needed. Oh, really? Which one did I give up? Oh, it almost bounced off the ledge. Is a projectile coming? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yep. Sure enough. Can't actually... There we go. Come on. He's blocking my attacks, too. Come on down here. There you go. No, you can't gonna block that, huh? Oh, oh my gosh. You're kind of scary sometimes. Oh, no. Stone Ancient. Okay. Yeah, I fought one of these before. This is actually kind of cool fight. Oop. Although he is hurting me while I'm doing that. Okay, drop your little... Oh, he did already. Ooh, that was... I am getting wrecked right now. Hang on, let me go pick up these health pieces. Yeah, that... This one's been a little different than the other ones. I got to get him on those attacks. There we go. I love these right here. Just freaking rapid fire those punches right in the gut. Love it. No, 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 stop. Stop. Look at the other. Why am I locked on on that guy? Uh, I don't like that at all. Don't like that one freaking bit. Get up there. Woo! That was close. Man, that is again very brutal. Alright, what sort of goods goodies did we get over here? Give me some good stuff. Watch our backs, boy. Uh, reduces all damage from Dark Elves' attacks by 12%. Ooh, I like that. I like that. More Rage. Rage meter is almost full. Perfect. Now it'll be full. Love it. Definitely playing this in New Game Plus four or five times longer in New Game Plus for sure. It's been feeling a major craving for me when it comes to single player games. This is done in a very different style to the original God of War game, so I absolutely love this along with those games. Been soaking it up for sure. I like to hear that. I'm glad you've been enjoying it for sure. All right, we got full health, full rage, extra health. Let me open this guy over here. I see something up there. One second, my friends. Making sure. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And unfortunately, I got some work I got to attend to. Rapidly spinning melee attack that clears out surrounding enemies and deals significant damage. Yord's Tempest. That is a lot of damage. Ooh, okay. It's a melee attack. This is another light one. My, currently, my it's an area attack, which I kind of like. I don't know. It's solid, though. Come back to it. We'll come back to it sometime. Uh, runic forearm bracers. Oh, for a common uh, a common one, that's not bad at all. Really can't wait till the sequel hits PC. I'm all over that without question. So is that is it going to be a while before it hits PC? Okay. Let me do a save here, 
And we're in Alfheim for the first time, no longer in Midgard. Uh, my friends, unfortunately, it's about that time for me. Uh, I am going to try to raid somebody today, though. So stick around. Uh, we'll see who we can find to raid. Uh, but let's head to the tavern. I'm not sure what's up with my chat, uh, my chat thing today. Maybe some settings got changed, but it's not. I mean, it's losing everybody's messages, so I'm not sure what that's all about. But uh, no idea. But given that this one eventually did, I would like to think it will in time. I would think so, but I just was curious if maybe since this one is out on PC, I was wondering if maybe the new one would maybe launch on PC, but uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, my friends, let me let me see if I can find a raid target real fast. I have a lot of thank yous to give out as well, so I'm going to do that too. Hopefully those work. If Streamlabs will be in a turd, then maybe not. Um, hope it will, but no confirmation on that yet that I know of. Gotcha. Gotcha. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, let's see here. Huh. A lot of people play an Elden Ring for sure. Be lame for not having been in for long today, but it was still an entertaining stream. No, no worries at all, Peachy. It's great having you. Great having you. Also cool to learn that you're uh, a Hoosier yourself. Um, let me see here. What are you here in my recommended? Ooh, ah, oh, they're playing Detroit Become Human. Yeah, I don't know. If somebody come, if somebody's further than me, I'm not gonna be able to watch it. You know, be able to watch it. We're playing through Detroit Become Human as well. So Mondays and Fridays uh, this week. Uh, now this is interesting. Here's somebody playing. Uh, it's on my recommended. Playing uh, Kathy Rain, which I've never played or seen. Uh, and they just started for the day. And actually, they're on a hype train. Maybe we should go. Uh, maybe we should go give them a a, a, a raid and see how they're uh, see how they're doing. I think that's what we'll do. So we'll raid this person here, uh, and Ananda one, Ananda one. Not sure. It's a great time. So fun watching you give enemies all Kratos can dish out. I'm trying my best at least. Trying my best at least. Uh, let me give out some thank yous real fast, and then we'll go raid uh, Ananda one. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but uh, they're playing uh, their first playthrough of Kathy Rain. Never seen the game before, so let's check it out. But. Uh, real fast. Let me give out some thank yous. Here we go. Appreciate everybody for uh, hanging out with me today. Actually, is it not going to work again today? Oh, don't do this to me. Yeah, yeah, it's going to do it. Same thing again. Okay, so I have to do this manually, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, so my thank yous for today. Uh, first of all, I want to thank my mod squad. We had Hercules, we had Coleman, we had Curry stop in. So thank you to the mods. Uh, let's see what else we got. Follows from Crystal Dragon Twenty Two CPU Crisis. Um, we got resubs from Hercules, Nonder, uh, and it's tricky. And then a new sub from Peachy Stars Fifteen. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, and then our Kofi members, as always, trying to do this off the top of my head. Uh, Chaotic, Coleman, Iron, Phil, Fresh, Koro, Nidalicious, and Spooky Deer. I think I got it. Uh, yeah, Streamlabs is just being a turd. Uh, Streamlabs being a turd. So, yeah. Uh, but let's go say hello to Ananda playing their, uh, first playthrough of Kathy Rain Director's Cut. Um... No worries, Mac. No worries. It was eating. Hopefully it was delicious, my friend. Definitely be back. Great job today. Seriously appreciate that, Crystal. Uh, yeah, hopefully we get the technology figured out. Did this to me uh, one other time, Peachy, pretty recently. So I feel like Streamlabs is just having a, is having a, having a moment, if you will. But Def was glad to hear that. I'm, uh, I'm about to go get some, uh, some granola and some fruit myself. So, my friends, I'm gonna leave you with Ananda. I've said it differently every time. Um, but they're playing some Kathy Rain first playthrough, uh, and I think they're uh, on the verge of a hype train too. So maybe we can uh, toss some follows in there and hopefully make their day, put a smile on their face, uh, like you guys have for me today. So with that, I will leave you. Reminder: tomorrow, no stream. I have a uh, an important meeting with my boss and my boss's boss's boss. So uh, it'll be a pretty big, uh, pretty big deal, but uh, it'll be worth the time 
Uh, I will miss you all, but we'll be back again on Thursday with more God of War. All right. So wish me luck. I hope to see you all again on Thursday. Until then, take care of yourselves, be safe, and let's go make somebody's day. Love y'all. Bye.